Back in the 80s and 90s, headbanging for both audience and band was pretty much expected for any type of heavy music, but over 20 years of the activity has proven troublesome for some. Slayer's Tom Mariah had to have his neck and back vertebrae fused, and Megadeth's Dave Mustaine is suffering a similar problem, which almost forced the band to miss the New York City Big Four concert. However, it was nearly life-threatening for Evanescence guitarist Terry Balsamo, who previously played with Limp Bizkit and Cold. Artisan News asked Balsamo if he really suffered a stroke from headbanging. Yeah, it tore up the, all the years of doing it. I didn't know, you know, you wouldn't know unless you got a CAT scan or something. But it had been bruising the veins in my carotid artery. And it caused the blood flow to have a blood clot. And that's what shot to my brain and knocked me out. <laughs> so is there anything he has to do to take care of himself to make sure it doesn't happen again? No, I probably shouldn't rock out as much on stage, but I mean the artery after it all happened, it did, the actual carotid artery healed 100%, like nothing had happened, so, you know, I probably maybe should get it checked out a little more often, make sure it's all good, I'm not doing anything wrong to it, but I'm all good, can't complain, could have been worse. It hasn't slowed Evanescence down. Since the incident in 2005, he's completed two Evanescence albums, The Open Door and the new self-titled release. Evanescence is currently in Europe through November 21st and will return home for the Thanksgiving holiday to be with family. Somewhere beyond the